in continuation with the payment banks there are a lot of small finance banks coming up government says that the intention is to provide uh, social inclusion will does that make sense when uh, the government on the other side merges the banks and limits the access to the common people the small finance banks now there are 20 banks in this period after mr modi has uh, become uh, prime minister in 2015 to 17 20 private banks have been now promoted and it have come, they have come into existence the small finance banks you take equitas you take uh, jana bank you take many other banks these banks they are telling they are uh, uh, created they have been they have come into existence for helping the poor but that is not so actually if you go and uh, uh, seek a loan from equitas bank for about 20 25000 rupees a small uh, borrower wants uh, 25000 rupees uh, e- uh, from equitas bank what is the rate of interest you know it is 25.5% reserve bank is permitting equitas bank and small finance bank to charge 25% rate of interest per annum that means ordinary people are squeezed their blood is suck and how do you call that it is uh, there to help uh, financial inclusion the real financial inclusion is that they have to promote public sector banks more rural branches they have to promote cooperative banks they have to promote regional rural banks rather these banks are not promoted not only they are not promoted they are also killed indirectly now cooperative bank if you take this uh, central cooperative banks from november 14 2016 onwards they were prevented from taking demonetized currency thereby the very uh, survival of those institutions was put at stake you take regional rural bank after this government came into power they brought an enactment that enactment says that up to 49% of the shares can be offloaded to the private the very objective of regional rural banks is to serve the common man 81% of the regional rural banks credit is going to common man and that bank is sought to be privatized and if you take uh, uh, public sector banks these public sector banks 25% of the bank branches have to be opened in the rural the similar is the condition for other private banks also whereas it is not insisted for the private banks the private banks is hardly having 5 to 6% in the rural area whereas public sector banks are also only having a lot of branches in the rural area but the public sector is now sought to be undermined they want to privatize public sector and this bank merger will rationalize the number of branches particularly in the urban semi semi urban and rural and thereby the rural persons will be again deprived of credit say for instance if you take the standard of uh, developed countries or the brics nations other than india uh, whether it is brazil or russia or south africa or china uh, these countries have about uh, 40 branches uh, for every 1 lakh adults whereas in india it is uh, it is only seven branches so instead of increasing the number of branches instead of promoting public sector these people are on the one hand trying to sabotage the public sector on the other hand they are trying to promote private sector banks small finance banks payment banks like that and these banks are sucking the blood of the common man and that is the reality and in fact uh, any loan for that matter it's not only a small loan even if you go, go for some mudra loan they charge 18 to 21% whereas in public sector banks the rate of interest is maximum 11% even that itself is high in fact education loan is higher than the uh, tractor loan is higher than the corporate loan rate of interest if you take even public sector the character of the public sector is sought to be undermined that's a different question the question here is the small finance banks and the payment banks are uh, not for uh, serving the common man rather they are sucking the blood of the common man